In the last videos, I talked about uh, two other, or sort of two uh, ways to, to improve ZeroConf on Bitcoin Cash so that we can have, uh, you know, basically more reliable ZeroConf on Bitcoin Cash. Um, so the, the two other ways I talked about were the super standard immediate transactions, which is a proposal from Tom Harding, uh, as well as Ansible, uh, which is a proposal from Joannis for Moral. Uh, there's another article, so somebody sort of tipped me off to this. I already read this article before. I don't want to say who it is that told me to, to read this just because I got a sense of, of privacy from this individual. But if you, if you don't mind if I name you, please, please say so. I'm happy to give credit for this. But somebody pinged me yesterday and said you should look at Avalanche, uh, which is a proposal for a new consensus protocol. And, and the people at Bitcoin ABC are interested in, in, this, uh, in this proposal. So Avalanche is this new consensus protocol that theoretically I think you could make it an entire cryptocurrency based just on this uh, consensus uh, protocol. But also it's the type of thing that you could add to Bitcoin Cash to use in addition to the, the uh, proof of work consensus mechanism of Bitcoin Cash. And basically the advantages of Avalanche are that it's uh, faster. You arrive at consensus very, very quickly. Uh, and uh, the, the, basically the problem is that it seems, as best I can tell, uh, that the only problem with this consensus protocol is something like some of the transactions uh, just won't confirm. Because if you do things like if you broadcast a double spend, um, it actually may never reach consensus. So it doesn't actually guarantee that consensus ever occurs, uh, if I understand correctly. If somebody understands it better than I do, please correct me. So I've only, I've only read the paper once, and I, I'll have to re read it again and spend time on it to actually understand it in detail. Uh, so I don't fully understand it. Uh, but it does sound like a good candidate. So the way this would work on Bitcoin Cash is uh, the miners would basically do avalanche, which doesn't require any proof of work, in addition to doing the proof of work calculations. And avalanche, uh, I, I guess it's mostly a networking protocol. So I'm not sure how the bandwidth and stuff like that would compare. And I'm not sure how much software would have to be written to create this, but I imagine quite a lot because you basically have to program this entire other consensus protocol. Uh, however, if you do that, you would have two sort of levels of consensus. Uh, you'd broadcast a transaction that would, assuming there's no double spend, would be confirmed in Avalanche very quickly. Uh, and then on average, 10 minutes later, it would be confirmed in a block. And so you could rely on Avalanche as being a, a, effectively a pre-consensus consensus that just occurs faster. Um, but that has some slightly less desirable properties in other ways that are sort of made up for by proof of work. So maybe we can get the best of both worlds by having this sort of really fast uh, consensus protocol in addition to proof of work. Uh, so that's just an idea. Um, there's one other thing I want to talk about in this video, uh, which is uh, Opera is uh, evidently, uh, as of I read this morning, that uh, they are launching a web browser for Android that comes with a built-in Ethereum wallet to make it really easy to make payments on the internet. Now this is obviously, well maybe it's not obvious to other people, but it's obvious to me that this is very much related to the money button. Uh, we're trying to do that for everybody. We're trying to make it so that it's really, really, really easy to send payments on the internet uh, to websites. So for things like, primarily for content, uh, but it, it can be used for anything else as well. Um, so that's basically the same problem we're solving with the money button. And actually, I always thought that that the the end game here for cryptocurrency wallets was that they would be embedded in browsers and operating systems. In fact, there's a there's a Telegram chat here where I actually said that. So there was some news that Bitmain was investing in Opera, and so I said what was probably happening is I bet Opera is including a cryptocurrency wallet in their browser, and that turns out to be exactly what's happening. That they are two days later after the news about Bitmain investing in them. It's revealed that yes, actually they have a, a web browser that's in private beta with a cryptocurrency wallet built in. So this is this is a great idea. This is exactly how it should be. It should be built into web browsers because the usability and security is actually going to be better if it's built in to this sort of secure environment, which is the web browser or the operating system. So this is a great first step. Actually, I guess it's not a first step. I suppose Brave was the first step, but this is the first other browser that was developed for different reasons. Uh, it's just a normal web browser to include a cryptocurrency wallet. Um, so that's all the news I have for today, and I, I, as usual, I'll keep doing these videos uh, every single day uh, about Bitcoin Cash, cryptocurrency, blockchain, and everything around that and around the money button as we lead up towards the launch uh, in August. So thank you for watching.